Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It's Rhapsody time, reality time. Rhapsody of realities is that day devotional that prepares you for the day and also prepares the day for you. Today's reading by Pastor Chris Oyakilome for Monday, the 29th of March, 2021 is, it is sooner than you think. Today's theme scripture has been taken from the book of Revelation, chapter 22, verse 7, which says, Behold, I come quickly. Blessed is he that keepeth the sayings of the prophecy of this book. Some have wondered why we preach the gospel the way we do all around the world with so much urgency, fervency, and passion. It's because the master gave us a mandate to evangelize the world before he comes back, leading men and women into righteousness. Praise the Lord. In Matthew chapter 28, verse 19, he said, Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. He gave us a message for the whole world about what he came to do in the earth so that when he comes back, many will be prepared for him and go with him. Hallelujah. This is our inspiration and the urgency of the moment. We are not just trying to get people excited about Christianity. It's about Jesus Christ and his living message. He came to die for the whole world and God raised him from the dead. He ascended into heaven and he's alive today and will come back anytime from now. Hallelujah. How ready are you for his return? If you're still wondering when and how soon he's coming back, I can tell you this. It's a lot sooner than many realize, judging from the timelines revealed to us in scriptures. All the things he told us will happen before he comes are happening exactly the way he said they would. There aren't too many signs or events left to be fulfilled before the master's return. This is why we must keep preaching the gospel, preparing men and women all over the world for the rapture. Praise the Lord. He was once offered to bear the sins of many, and unto them that look for him shall he appear the second time without sin unto salvation. Praise the Lord. And this we study in Hebrews chapter 9 verse 28. Therefore, be prepared and ready for him. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So now it's time for prayer and I invite all of you to please close your eyes, lift up your holy hands and pray after me. Dear Father, through the preaching and teaching of the gospel of righteousness, your kingdom is established in the earth and in the hearts of men. Many are snatched from destruction and damnation into the glorious liberty of the sons of God. Thank you for the increased grace upon the church to proclaim liberty in all the earth in these last days. In Jesus' name, Amen. To further your study regarding this message, you can read Acts chapter 1 verse 11. Also, please study 1 Corinthians chapter 16, verse 22, and Revelation chapter 22, verse 20. If you're following the one-year Bible reading plan, we can read Luke chapter 8 from verses 1 to 21 and Joshua chapters 3 and 4. If you're following the two-year Bible reading plan, you can read Matthew chapter 26 from verses 36 to 46 and Exodus 38. Thank you so much and God bless you.